Hey everybody, XCI here for a Let's Read this time. I'm bringing something uh, new to the channel, which I'm hoping to do more of, especially because I, I mean, I'm really falling in love with the Dragon Age world. I've already said I'm bringing novels to the channel. I've already brought like a, a, a long review for the first trade that was released. Um, and, and I've learned that there were some promotional comics done by Penny Arcade for Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age Awakening. So using the site itself, I could not find this very easily. Uh, I did find this Flash game here, which by the way is dead. This image is dead. This is not the only thing dead on this site. This site is horribly maintained. Uh, I remember trying to buy Dragon Age 2 through this site, through Bioware's site, through... The drag, uh, some Dragon Age 2, I got bounced all over the place, it's like they didn't want to sell, sell me the game, eventually I installed Origin, and through the Origin platform, I was able to buy uh, Dragon Age 2, but gee, like, just fix all of these links, man, for the love of God, anyways, there's a Flash game, it doesn't work, guys, I've gone into here, it sounds awesome, it sounds like an RPG, a single player RPG, based on uh, Orzammar. It's three chapter single player tactical RPG delivered in Flash. Of course, Flash is dying. No real browser support. No shock here. There's playable in IE7 and Firefox 3. It's It's been over a decade since this crap was standard. So modern browsers today, I don't know. I guess it's gone, it's gone, it's gone the way of the dodo bird, guys. Unless you guys know it's out there, I will play it. If it's out there, I'll bring it to the channel if you guys find a way for me to play it. Okay, here's how you find the promotional comics by Penny Arcade. You gotta go to the Awakening expansion. From the Awakening expansion, you'll get a sub menu here, and you'll see Penny Arcade. That's how I saw it, and I was like, "Oh, Penny Arcade, yeah, the, uh, the webcomic guys. That's cool. What would they do?" Oh my gosh, there are some pages to comic stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure this out. And I was like, "Wait, what? What's this? Read the Dragon Age Origins comic." I didn't. And then I was like, "Okay, how do I get to the Origin comic from the Origin site?" You can't. You gotta come through here. You gotta click the link there. That's the only way I found out how to get to this page. And it looks like there's an eight-page comic here, which. I don't think it would be included any in, in, in any of the other trades because this was a pen. It was a. It's like a web promo, and I, I can't see any validation as to when this came out or for what or did it come out before the game to introduce the game, whatever. I want to bring the lore to the channel, and I want to bring my thoughts on the lore. And I can already see just by, I mean, the front page here, which is when I started recording, and I'm just like, I, I'm just going to record this. Uh, it's here we have Templars. Here we have the big splash page of without even reading what they're saying. We got. Four Templars that just killed one, one mage in the woods. So likely an apostate, likely, I don't know, likely some, I don't know, some what do they call wilders or something like that. So um, here we go, here we go. I'm already not enjoying what this is presenting because if you watch my review of the first Dragon Age graphic novel, I I abhor the idea uh, of the presentation of the Templars being this very oppressive order their females in this order. It's just they're usually presented as aggressive males that just kill first and ponder later. And I don't like... That's very one-dimensional. Uh, it's why I hated the Templars, really, in all of Origins. Uh, Xander couldn't get behind them. I couldn't get behind them as a player. Dragon Age 2 is sort of helping s resolve that a little bit with me. But I'm still... It's still a little sketch with, with just... Um, the way they get presented so I'm guessing that maybe if this came out before origins as a like promo to origins because those details are so um, they're so they're so fresh still they're still sort of getting fleshed out um, they kind of have that byline that just says it's an aggressive order of assholes who kill mages that aren't in the circle I don't know whatever the byline is that makes people <laughs> write them in absurd ways okay let's just get into it okay so here we have uh, murder of a mage here this is not the witch we seek. It couldn't be. A witch now or a witch in a year's time. What does it matter? Come, Sir Thyle, and be quick. Come. Okay, I don't know who Thyle is yet, but let's move on. Blood on your hands, buddy. Blood on your hands. How do you feel? Is this the sacred task of our order, then? Cutting down wilder folk? Okay, there we go. So that's my. That, those are my questions. That's me as a reader, man. You're, you're voicing me. Now we got faceless dude behind it, hiding behind his helmet. No doubt the priest would be impressed with your piety, but know this: we are his sword, and wherever our blades fall, the maker's work is done. And you just supported everything I hate about the Templars: the idea that they can do anything, and if they do it, it must be the will of the maker, and it must be right. And I, I abhor that. Okay, I cannot believe this. We burn out apostasy, abominations, Maleficar. Everything else, everything, is empty words, an echo. 
hold your tongue. There may be time for you to hold forth on Holy Scripture when we return to Lothering. So this takes place before Origin, because Lothering still exists. I, I think I see where this might be going. Is that so? I am beginning to doubt there will ever be a good time, and indeed my doubts do not end there. The Blessed Mother at Lothering would be, no doubt, fascinated to hear that. He's reaching for a sword. Shink. Oh, I thought he, like, legit already killed him. No, he put the blade to his throat there. You wish to test the edge of my conviction? Do you fear the righteousness of our duty? Here, brother, we will cut this fear from you. And you're just giving them all a bad name, Helmeted Templar. Oh, shit. You know, he, he legit. What the hell? So what the hell? Okay, well, killing your own. And here we have Morgan and Flemeth. You have found your Witch of the Wild, O Templars. I wonder, what will you do with her? O oh, Flemeth, you and your mysterious ways. With a bunch of Sylvans at that. So the Templars speak. You may speak and speak, but we shall not hear you. Men, armor yourselves with faith. If faith kills your own because they question their actions, I'm not entirely sure if that faith is worth, worth worshipping. Your maker made me, did he? Perhaps he knows something you don't. Perhaps there are things he himself does not know. Flemeth. Don't keep confusing me such. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, at this point, I have my theories. Yes, that might be a torch hitting a sylvan, burning down the tree. Maker's breath. And then this burning sylvan crushes one of the Templars. Morgan with her sketch smile. Right before she casts a spell, which I'm assuming is... Is that an ice peak or something? My blade. My blade is not my own. Sleep now, friend. Commend me to him. Does she mind control? Stand aside, witch. I am the Maker's will in this cursed place. So you have said. Tis a wonder he has not appeared before us, given how freely you invoke him. But this is no chantry, and I am no meek circle mage to be ordered about. This is an incontinuity. I give this spell to, look to Morgan. Anyways, uh, you have trespassed here, but all is not lost. And crush and... This wood will make use of you. Well, she definitely murdered before things. I mean, I, I, I assume that as Xander. I'm not going in ignorant into that relationship. <laughs> my black briar, my maid of thorns. I have pleased you then. Tis a wonder. I shall mark the day. Aha! Even your tongue has a barb. Am I not your daughter? Never more so than now. You are a perfect creature and perfect for my purpose. I do wonder, though, when will we stop hosting such guests? Well then, looks like they were on that. Uh, so this is this is new context to a degree. Like I knew Morgan would defend herself from Templar. She ma made such a comment in Origin, but I'm assuming this goes a little further. I think her and uh, Morgan and Flemeth would actively go out to seek out Templars hunting Maleficar or apostates or wildly. Uh, um, wilders or whatever you want to call them um, in the woods they'd go out and actively hunt these guys down and take them out if Xander heard these stories he had he would have been okay with it these guys are obviously aggressive and don't belong in an order uh, that's meant to sort of it, they should be an order that is around to provide hope and and like legitimate protection of the charges that they're responsible for and i feel like the game sort of failed in doing that in the early in the early history of the game's lore i think eventually they start to flesh that out but uh i think it took it's been taken longer than it should i don't know even dragon age 2 is doing it but mm, it's still not it's still not perfect you know all right let's it, this is only a six page comic so let's do the dragon age awakening penny arcade comic as well Let's do this.
Is this flash? What is this? This is not flash. Okay, we're gonna do it as a gallery pop up. I see. Okay, Dragon Age Origins Awakening. Let's see when this takes place. Oh, probably Nathaniel. <laughs> That's my guess. Okay, I saw grandfather. My grandfather was a great warden. Would he even recognize what this order has become? Would he weep at his de dereliction? Or would he draw his blade, point it towards his enemy's heart, and cry, enough? It really did come to like Nathaniel quite a bit. Oh, this is him breaking into the keep. I think I know, and I act now in his memory. Don't, doesn't he get his grandfather's sword? Don't I, doesn't didn't Xander find something? Like one of the gifts is a bow. Was it a bow? Grandfather's bow or something? Vigil's keep. This is the estate of Arl Rendon Howe, or was. It was stripped from his family after the blight. Granted to the Grey Wardens, who wasted no time filling it with their Orlesian filth. It was not Orlesian. 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 It was not Orlesian filth. <laughs> the same damned Orlesians the Arl fought so hard to drive out. His lip would curl at the irony. There will always be those who falter when they see the true face of war, when they reckon its true price, not Ren and Howe. What were his crimes? That he was a patriot? That his sword did too well the work of his nation? Was it a sword and Kang? Ooh, butt of the sword to the face and then a punch to the chops. I pray each night to be half the man he was. You better not be a quarter of the man he was, my friend. As he has come to learn. But right there, that scene was interesting because he didn't kill the guard. He uh, knocked him out. The stories of his death put me ill at ease. They reek of petty maneuvering or courtly games. I think he was the guy behind all the petty maneuvering and courtly games. <laughs> of Orlesian treachery. T maybe he became like his enemy. Maybe that was the whole thing with Ren and Howe. To defeat the en enemy, you become the enemy, and then he sort of didn't let go of it. I don't know, making just my commentary along the way. Tis said he murdered the Coslins, and it may be so, but to what end? Noble Origin, I found that one out by playing the prologue series. It gave me a lot more context behind a lot of the other little pieces that were moving behind the scenes, which is pretty cool. So here he is slip, slipping in. Their crimes must have been grave indeed to earn such a fate. As you came to learn, my friend, as you came to learn. Oh, the Coslins? No. They were... They were totally, t like, innocent. I am no snarling Mabari, content to kill for sport. I strike only when necessary. I strike where it will be felt most keen. It is enough. Let's see, once again. Doesn't kill. Interesting. I am the pinprick which carries the poison. Alright, well, if, the, you're, if you're carrying poison, you're killing. <laughs> Take it all back. I am here, father. At long last, I am here. We have Arl Ren and Howe here. We have Nathaniel Howe here. And this occupation ends tonight. And then the game starts and we pick him up and we imprison him. Or he gets in prison and then uh, he joins the Great Wardens. And cool. So cool little promo story there probably before. Again, I don't see a year here so I don't have any context. But I did enjoy finding these because I sort of want to do more of that. I want to bring additional content to this lore if I find it. I was also told in the comments uh, that there's a short story for each of the companions in Dragon Age 2. So of course I'm going to hunt those things down. Thank you for providing those links. I will read them and then I will make an episode on those short stories as well. Um, I don't think there are any spoilers in it. I think that's what I got told. Um, maybe I'm going to wait until Act 2 is done for Dragon Age 2. Then I'm going to come back and uh, we'll make another kind of folder for this Dragon Age. This miscellaneous stuff that I find along the way that's kind of relevant. But whether it's... And I'm even saying if it's canon or not canon. Um, I mean, I would prefer the canon stuff. But I'm willing to find just things that are Dragon Age related and, and bring them to the uh, channel. Just because I, I'm love, I'm really loving the lore of this world, man. It's It's pretty robust it's a it's a good time but anyways i'm going to wrap up this episode here don't forget to explore engage and inspire everybody catch you around next time peace